Hi, this is Fritz Weekly, Borathorpe Electric. In this video, I want to show you how to use a block move or create a block move. I had a lot of questions um, with the older languages like uh, NXT ProWorks 32. We had block move functions, uh, concept, and uh, have a lot of people when they move to Unity, they want to uh, know how we're going to how you move that information, and it's pretty easy to do in Unity. So. First thing I want to show you is we need to create a data type that is the block size or whatever the, the type of information and the amount of information we want to move. So in this example, say we want to move 10 words that are 10 integers. So the first thing I have to do is I have to create a, a, a type. We'll just call it our type block 10. I'll we'll actually call it block 10 int. So we want to move, that's our type. We want to actually move 10 integers. And we have a choice of structure or array. A structure is going to be uh, moving information of different types. An array is the same type. Because this is all integers, we want to say we're going to create an array. We're going to bring this table up of these different uh, data types. And the data type we want to select is integer, int. So it defaults to 2. We actually want to move 10. So I'm going to double click into here and say we want it 0 to 9. That will give us 10 integers. So that's, our actual, that's actually our block type that we've created. And you can see this little under construction sign here because it's not built yet. So we're going to go under build changes. So now we've created a data type, a derived data type of block 10 int, which is a block of 10 integers. Now I can go ahead and go to variables, double click, and I'm going to create my variables. And let's just call these data in. Now it's going to go ahead and assign this because I went and created that data type it's trying to think ahead and it's saying well you created that you must that must be what you want to use and in this case it is so that's one variable and we'll create a variable of data out of the same and it'll assign the same type so here's our two variables and the data type if we look these are both tables of 10 integers now we can use those in logic so if I was going to move information in ladder, one way I can do that is with this operate block. And if you're not familiar with this operate block, there's a video out there, a uh, structured text video or using structured text in IEC ladder that talks a little bit about using this block. So there's a couple different ways I can do it in ladder. One way is the operate block. The other is there's actually a statement out there that's called move or function block. So in the structured text block, I would have data out because that's where the data, that's where I want it to end up. Data in is where it's coming from. Okay, so that's one way to move it. The other way would be data in. And I can move it to data out. Okay, and I can go ahead and build these changes. These are both doing the same thing in ladder, but that's that's how it would look in ladder. Okay. And I can highlight this and stick it on an animation table. And I can see that any data I put in here, it's automatically moving it to there. So that's how it would look in ladder. If I wanted to do it in IEC, 
it's going to be the same function block that I just used in ladder. The difference is going to be that I don't need to land it on a power rail in this case. So again, I can add data in, data out. So that's how it would look in function block. And then in structured text, I have actually already done, I've, I've done this structured text statement in ladder. And that's really what it's going to look like in structured text as well. I'm going to build this. Okay. So I'm using, uh, I'm showing you examples in ladder, function block, and in structured text, how you would move that information. So uh, just a small recap. So we had to first create our data type, which was this block of 10 integers. Then we went and created our variables, and we assigned those that block type in this case moving 10 words so if I if I had another function or I had another instance where I was going to move more than 10 I would have to go back and create my data type for whatever that size is so and it has to be the same size that I move it into so I, we created our data type we create our variables and then we're able to move that information in ladder through the operate block with a structured text statement or a move function. In function block we have the move function and then in structured text we can move it like that. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, again if there's anything that you want to see specifically don't hesitate to call or email and let me know. Thank you.